Hey guys, this is Ray with DRP Motorsports. Welcome back to the shop. And guys, we've been working this car hard the past three days on our chassis dyno. We've been testing our E85 tuning and we pretty much wrapped it up. So guys, uh, to bring you in perspective with everything, if you haven't been following along, this car is a base GT, uh, all stock, 315 axle ratio, 10R80 transmission. Up until this morning, it still had the factory paper element air filters on it. We just changed them this morning, but for the past three days, it was all stock. And I mean all stock, including the factory catback. It does have the active exhaust from forward, but that's the only advantage that it does have. Now, let me tell you this before I show you the numbers. If you've been watching social media, particularly E85 numbers, the numbers on the dynos are all over the place. And it all depends on modifications, the car itself, how it was spec from the factory, the dyno being used, and most importantly, the weather. Right now here, where we're at, we're in southeastern North Carolina. It is hot, it is sticky, it is miserable. It's been between 98 and 100 most days. The DA's been somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 feet. That does not help you at all when it comes to making big power naturally aspirated. However, we did pick up solid gain, so let me show you how we did. There again, we're using the same baseline we did to our 93 octane tune. So the baseline number that we're working from is a Ford calibration that merely has the speed limit and the RPM limits raised. So baseline is 406, 360. Our best wheel horsepower pull on the E85 was 434. Our best torque was 401. Guys, that is a solid almost 30 horsepower gain at the rear wheels and a solid 40 foot pounds of torque gain at the rear wheels. And look at that in the mid range. That is a big difference in the mid range. Now that's through the whole RPM range, but the mid range, just like on a 93 tune, is significant. And there's a lot more horsepower and torque there over stock and you will feel the difference. So guys, I think we're pretty much done with our E85 tuning test. Now we can do some exhaust mods to this car. Um, we could put long tube headers on it. Not gonna do that just yet. Probably we'll do a resonator delete here shortly, put an X-pipe on it, see if that picks up any power. We did put a set of K&N air filters on here. We did pull the carbon traps this morning. But I will tell you on our car, in our shop, on our dyno, that actually made no difference in power whatsoever. So I know some guys say, say that will help. Our car, this situation, didn't help a bit. So keep that in mind. But guys, we're really pleased with how it turned out. Um, we've already got a working ghost cam tune. You can check that on social media as well. So we're going to have these up on our website here shortly. You'll be able to purchase 93 and E85 tunes from us, uh, naturally aspirated setup. Uh, we'll be working on some boosted applications here shortly. Also, we're going to try to do a true flex fuel tune in which you can put any kind of fuel in here, whether it's straight 93, straight E85, or a mixture of the two, and the car will be able to adjust and run on that with just one tune. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of work. We'll have some people helping me on that because um, there needs to be more stuff in the software editor mapped out in order to make that happen. But we're going to try that and see how that works. So look out for that as well. But as always, guys, I appreciate you following along. I appreciate your business and your support. It means a lot to me and my family. So look out. S650 tuning coming up soon on our website for sale. And we look forward to helping you. God bless, guys. We'll see you again soon.